Hey everyone, welcome back to Sailing Gypsy. This week, we've moved from Honeymoon Beach in Georgetown to Crab Key Cove to wait out an incoming blow. And man, are we lucky the wind brought us here because this was one of the most scenic anchorages yet and you'll see why it's extra special to us now. What did you catch? Oh, it's so windy. Guys, he's the first. Doesn't look like lobster. What? It doesn't look like lobster. It's not lobster. A crab? Not crab. Wait, can I eat it? Uh, a squid. Can I eat it though? I'm Stephanie, and this is Travis. Together we bought a Hunter 42 passage that we call Gypsy. We sold almost everything that we owned and moved aboard. After living on Gypsy through a Toronto winter, we decided that we had to get down south. Though we've got very little sailing experience, we decided to leave it all behind in our home country, Canada, to live out our dream in sailing the world. We're so pumped to share this adventure of a lifetime. Ew! It's a boa. <laughs> Ew! Put it back. Is it poisonous? Learned. It's been pretty tame so far, but you gotta look at this thing. I'm not really interested in the snake. The best part is. Okay. He's okay. a lot bigger. He's <laughs> too big. Pretty cool. I hope I caught my first snake. <laughs> You gonna bring them back now? Yeah, I'm gonna bring them back. I'm gonna grab some tools though. I'm gonna go build a swing and hang out with my snake. <laughs> Stinks. Oh, I'm letting the snake go. Yeah, he smells like poo. Found a crate. <laughs> I found some rope, found some nice sticks, got here, tools for the job. Oh, and my seat that I found. You made it. And it's tiring. And you swam from just behind that catamaran. Wow. It's murky. Look at those clouds. Just went and found some more rope up there. So you want to make a few tweaks? Yeah, I got to put a couple braces in and Change out this rope if I can find some more of this rope. This isn't Home Depot. <laughs> well, that's why it took me all day yesterday. I had to go find all this stuff. Yeah. Well, with how like particular you are with things, all I mean, it all has to be symmetrical, right? Yeah. Everything's made, measured. Looks good. No, but anyways, I just found this, and I like I can totally see this got four holes on the cross braces. I can make a little drink holder. This is where you're finding all your materials. Well, yeah, I went to a big walk to find stuff. Just gotta go look.
They had own little shackles. So we've got our little candlelight. You fill this with a little bit of gas and then you put in the coconut. So cute. How do you like the swing? It's great. It's so much fun. And you need the seat wide enough so that like it feels super sturdy. This inspired me to build the swing set. We're inside the abandoned resort. I think they're still building it. Tried to no, Google I think it. they just ran out of money. Oh. Never got established. The view here is so pretty. Ready, go. So sweet. Crab Key, being an uninhabited and secluded island just off of Great Exuma Island, was to be transformed into a 200 plus acre luxury living tropical sanctuary. From what we've been able to find online, it looks like phase one of development stopped in about 2008 2009 after the financial crisis. With the $800 million budget, this place was to have a 30-acre harbor that would provide full-service berthing to mega yachts up to 300 feet. There were plans of a world-class spa and hotel, clubhouse, pool areas, and approximately 375 distinctive residences. They also built a beautiful private gated bridge to the Exuma mainland. Sir William Walker was one of the first settlers of this island. At the top of Crab Key, you can find the remains of the house that he built and the beautiful high walls and stone pillars that line its entrance. The house here is pretty impressive and dates back to the 1700s. When the resort was being developed, the Bahamian government demanded that the ruins be preserved and access be allowed to anyone. <laughs> Might catch it on fire, but you know. How cool is that? So, how are you gonna put that out? Great. Please don't do that. Oh God. Fire dancer. <laughs> Does it, ooh, yeah. There you go. I made this whipped cream yesterday and it still held its shape. Which is good. So the tip that I read was to keep your whipped cream all fluffy for like even a few days in the fridge is to bloom a teaspoon of unflavored gelatin in a tablespoon of water and then whip it into your whipped cream and it should keep its shape. It has after a day so yeah. Cool. Breakfast is served. 
Get three. Oh. Thank you. Eat? You're not done yet. I don't know. I'm trying to save on to that one. Just smash the first two down. Is it because you see that my plate's still full? So you're oh. like. <laughs> I don't want FOMO if I'm finished and staring at yours. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait. <laughs> You're hilarious. Mm. Are you okay to start eating now? We're almost on an equal playing field here. Yeah. You know I can't finish this many anyway. I was hoping you said it. But there's always that like risk. I'm full. Do you want this? Yes. Of course I do. Go for it. Crab Key is a bit further of a dinghy ride from Georgetown than where we were previously anchored by Honeymoon Beach. It's about one and a half nautical miles, but easily accessible, which meant we could still conveniently dispose our trash. All the cruisers are out there garbage. It's the only spot. Yeah, it's like a couple bucks for a small bag, and you just. Just throw your money through the window. And it's nice because the truck is here, and the dinghy dock is right there. It was nice because we also got a chance to check out the straw market before leaving the Exumas. Straw market's been around since the 60s, and you can find locally handmade souvenirs, straw hats, baskets, and jewelry. You should get the iguana. <laughs> We really loved our time at Crab Key Cove and are happy that we can leave a bit of us behind for others to enjoy. If you get a chance to visit, be sure to check out the Gypsy Swing, and if you take a picture, we'd love to see it, so please tag us. Thanks for watching! We're having cheeseburgers and shakes today. I'm going to make a strawberry milkshake or attempt it. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Hopefully delicious. So we're going to use a package of strawberry pudding mix, milk, and ice. See if it tastes like a milkshake. Because we obviously don't have ice cream on board, so we'll see. I kind of just poured in the milk until I got the consistency and the sweetness that I wanted. I made the buns for the cheeseburger and the shake came out pretty good. <laughs>